All right, we got another uh, mailbox replacement video. So I'm just gonna go through the steps really quick. If you're wondering how to do this, it's simple. You just need a few things depending on what mailbox setup you uh, order. This one was ordered. This is actually my second one. This one was ordered on Amazon. It's a nice little setup. If you're wondering what, what model it is, uh, we got a, uh, Okay, 4x4 four four decorative post along with okay large capacity goes with this post setup all right so you want to get prepared I'm gonna put this mailbox together you don't want to scratch the mailbox so I put one of these moving blankets down on the back of the tailgate so I can put it together Obviously, we're going to remove this old one. Looks like it'll be easy. It looks like it's just put in the ground with a stake. We'll get rid of that mailbox, and I will show you how to prepare it and set up the new one. Stay tuned. When you have a mailbox job, I'm going to show you how High Ridge Handyman removes his mailboxes to get ready for the new ones. So stay tuned. Sometimes, but not all the time, when you order things online, the screws, bolts, or parts come defective. So, you got to take a ride here. And you got to go in and get the stuff you need. two basic tools you're going to need most of the time is post hole digger right here and then if you run into any kind of rock you got a tamping bar or pry bar at the end has this little tamping end so you can pack down the, uh, the dirt I'll show you how we do that when we get to that point and then you're going to need your 4x4 four four post and obviously a bag of uh, quick creek concrete mix all right so stay tuned as you use your post hole digger, um, you're going to run it to some stone, okay? I don't know if you can see that with the sun. And this is where the bar comes in hand. You take the bar, you strike it down in each corner. You just wiggle it back and forth. You get those loose rocks out of the bottom, okay? Put it aside. Grab your post hole digger, strike it, and pull it out. All right. All right, once you get your hole set, okay, we're deep enough. You can't see it, but it's a good hole. All right. We're going to come over here. We're going to unpack our stuff, lay out your instructions. They're pretty basic. Comes with your handle, which will go on the front. Okay, we'll screw that in. Then you got your flag over here. You know, because when you put mail in, boom, flag is up. What does that mean? Huh? Yeah, mail is 
mail's ready. But not too many people send things in the mail anymore. All right. So we're going to set this up and we're going to get the post out. We'll put them both together and I'll show you what it looks like before we set this thing in concrete. All right. All right. Once you get your depth, you get your hole dug, put your post in the ground. Okay. Put it in concrete. Then you want to take your level. Take a little bullet level if you want here. A little handheld level. Make sure you're level on one side. And go to the other side here. Okay. And you're going to let that set. And take this extra topsoil. If you can, you could spread it along the edge here. Throw a little seed down. Or you could put it back in your truck and get rid of it. It's really up to you. The mailbox is ready. It's got a sleeve. It's a metal sleeve that sits over this post. Okay. And what you have to make sure you don't you do right is inside the sleeve, up into here where this first bolt is, there is a piece down there. You can see it. Okay. You gotta make sure you measure from that bolt sleeve down to the bottom and you make sure you have the same distance from top to bottom here so it fits right over it nice and snug and then you're going to finish it off obviously a couple of screws you're going to screw that right into that post when it's set so hang around i'll show you the finished product and that's it for your basic mailbox installation oh wait before we go this was my new purchase today this thing is sweet it's the rigid brushless 18 volt okay I got it for 149 I probably could have waited and got it for a little bit cheaper but I needed it for the job because that DeWalt it crapped out on me the DeWalt 18 volt the older platform I have the batteries just weren't holding the charge anymore so I'm gonna move everything over to rigid uh, a little bit at a time but uh, we're all set so we'll catch you on the next one. Stay tuned for the uh, finished product. All right, here we go. It's done. It's set. The customer just has to go out and get some numbers. Um, this kit didn't come with any numbers. But it looks good. It's a big mailbox. A lot bigger than what they had. It's set in concrete. It's screwed in. With those screws on that side that came with it. On that side also. And you just neaten up the floor, the ground as much as you can. It looks good. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the how-to video and the trouble you can get into with a simple mailbox install. So make sure you put in that extra time on that estimate because you always run into issues. Take care. Catch you on the next one. Look at here. Look what we got. Hey. It's a good dog. Another dog over here on a job. All right, take care.